room this afternoon. What a great round. First LPGA event after qualifying in the high school shootout on Monday, and you come out and shoot 68. Just tell me, what was this day like for you? I'm sure there were plenty of nerves early on, but what a great round. Thank you. Um, I actually played pretty consistent. I was going out there just trying to smile and have fun with my caddy and not look at the scoreboards and just stay focused. And after a rough first hole, I came back and I was able to make a few birdies on the back nine and it, it finished in a good round. Those nerves on the first hole, I know that tee shot must have been tough and you said chunked a little bit on that <laughs> second shot. Yeah, the first tee shot was really scary. My foot slipped and I was shaking so bad. But my next shot was even worse. I was shaking even worse. But after the, about the second hole, after I made that putt for par, I was lost all my nerves and I just had fun out there. What was the experience like in terms of, I know you were here on Monday and you played in the qualifier and then you actually had to go back home and go back to school <laughs> to actually get some class time in and then got to come back out yesterday afternoon. But what has it been like being around these pros? And I'm sure these are people who you look up to and get to watch on TV a lot. What has it been like practicing around them? It's been nerve wracking also, seeing how they're hitting it and how perfect they're all hitting it. But it's a great experience. I'm so glad and have the op I have an amazing opportunity to be near all of them. And it's cool having them say hi to me and saying hi back and being able to talk to them. I know you enlisted Paula Creamer as your favorite player. Have you gotten a chance to meet Paula yet, or have you seen her out here? No, I haven't, but I saw her. She was right next to me on the putting green, but <laughs> I saw her putting. I didn't, we didn't talk at all. <laughs> well, I'm sure she is going to be impressed. Shooting 68 out here, tied for third, pretty impressive way to kind of debut. But what were kind of the keys for you out there today? What were you most focused on as you were, were playing out there on the golf course? I was just mostly focused on hitting each fairway and each green and then just having two putts and lagging it up there close. And whenever I was given a good opportunity to make birdie, I was trying to take advantage of it, and I did. Questions for Taylor? Taylor, as you said, you kind of calmed down and got things going. Just talk about what was the big difference on the, on the back side and just the, the several birdies you had there and just and any particular shot that really re you remember from today. On the back nine, I was getting more comfortable with my swing and having some more confidence. And I think the shot on number 13, the par three, I hit it pretty close and we all thought it was going in. And I hit it to about four feet and made the putt. And that started it all. And then I drained a 30-foot putt off the green the next hole. And so that kind of gave me a big confidence boost. Uh, can you explain your second shot? What happened? You said that was even worse than the dry. So I'm wondering what happened, and then how did you get yourself going after that? I was shaking so bad, and my swing was probably just shaking on the backswing and the downswing. But after that, I just started to have fun and not worried about my swing so much. Taylor, uh, prior to qualifying on Monday, when was your last competitive round, and, and where was it? It was actually... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> I had two tournaments. I had regionals on Wednesday, Thursday, and I shot 63-73. And so that was a good boost going to my AJJ tournament that weekend, where I shot 76-71. And that got me third place there. And so going into Monday's round was a good confidence boost, and I played well there also. So that, that's the Class 5A regionals you're talking about? or Yes. And I'd like to follow up if I could. Um, you dealt with nerves today. How do you deal with a little bit of confidence going into tomorrow? Is that a, is that a different uh, juggling act? It's a little easier knowing that I played really well the first day. And so tomorrow I'm just going to go out there and have fun again and not worry about it and not have my nerves that I did today. I know you had your coach, Tim Hobby, out there on the bag today. How much did that help you, having him there to kind of help calm those nerves a little bit? It helped me a lot because he's had a lot of experience catting for every tour out there. And he's a great player as well. So he was able to help me read the greens and help me choose which shot to hit into the greens. And it really helped me a lot. And how long have you been working with Tim? This is my third year, almost into three and a half years. So, And he's really changed my life. 